Hi there, I'm Dana with WholeHealthDana.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make butter mints. Uh, so there's two different varieties. Um, the method that I prefer to use includes coconut oil, which makes it a little more difficult to um, work with and you have to work fast, but um, it's my favorite version. I'll tell you both just so you can make the decision of how you want to make them. Um, but first off, you're going to need a half of a cup of organic butter um, or um, grass-fed butter. Um, and that would be um, one stick. And um, I've been letting it sit out, so mine is room temperature. You don't want it to be cold um, because then it's too firm to mix up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the honey. So we're going to put in three tablespoons. Look for something that is raw and local if you have it. If you can't find raw and local, at least look for something that says organic and raw. And then you're going to want half of a teaspoon of organic um, peppermint extract. And then we're just going to mix this um, thoroughly till it's completely combined. Um, once we put in the coconut oil, we're gonna wanna move fast because coconut oil um, melts pretty quickly. Today we're going to put our butter mints um, just on a, um, I have a cutting board that I have covered with some parchment paper. Um, and I'm going to put the butter mint straight onto here. Um, sometimes I will actually use just a, a silicone mold. I got this one, it's like the shape of a Rolo. I got this one at Hobby Lobby for $3. However, not everybody has these. So today we're gonna work with what most people have or most people have available to them. So lastly, what we're going to need is a half of a cup of coconut oil. Let me tell you that you can actually make this without um, coconut oil. If you wanted to use a, uh, a whole cup of butter, so two sticks, you can certainly do so. Um, that would eliminate part of the problem of the melting. I just like it better with the coconut oil. Um, so um, I deal with the um, uncertainty. Now, the reason why this is working for me today, if this were melted, let's say my house were over 76 degrees, this were melted in liquid, absolutely I would not do this method um, because that oil is going to ruin everything in its liquid state. But since I have it now, and it's kind of in a soft, pliable um, texture, you can see that it'll drip into it, um, but it's not quite melted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it with this um, um, with this method. Now I'm going to mix it in pretty quickly. Okay, so once I have that thoroughly combined, I'm just going to throw it into a Ziploc baggie. Now be careful, you do not want your hands touching this after it's in there. Don't knead it, don't mix it. It should be thoroughly mixed and ready to go at the time that you put it into your baggie. Now this is the part where it starts to go um, pretty fast and you want to work before it starts to melt. Um, so you're going to just cut a little tip and I do mean a little tip, you can always cut more and then you're just going to squeeze out little bite size butter mints onto your sheet and don't forget do it pretty quickly because that coconut milk or coconut oil is going to melt while your um, your hands are touching it. And I don't mean to frighten you when I'm talking about moving fast. It's you're not like on a race for your life or anything like that. I can even see like right now the coconut oil is starting to get much softer um, than it was when I started. So I'm also going to show you how it works with the um, the mold. So this is what it looks like when you got it in your mold. And this is what it looks like on your cutting board. So now I'm going to move these to the freezer. Okay, so um, our mints are now hard and ready to go. You can see that they kept their same shape. Um, now they're just kind of frozen, so um, they're much easier to handle now. Oh, so good. So good. Man. If you're going to make yourself a mint, this is the way to do it. Now, we also have our cute little molds. And you can see now it looks like a, 
an adorable little Rolo. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Whole Health Data and how to make a paleo butter mint. If you would like a printed copy of this recipe, come and check out my website at www.wholehealthdana.com. And if you would like to follow me on social media, check out the links that are below. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.